Good morning, Brian here from Expert Dojo. I have another phenomenal entrepreneur for you today on the art of startup war. We are going to look into what we believe is going to be the absolute future of education, not just in the MENA region, but all over the world. And that is why we made an investment through the Expert Dojo Accelerator directly into Sammy and his colleagues. Sammy, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for hosting, Brian. It's a pleasure. Well, we're going to talk about you. By the way, you are you blew my mind when we first had our conversation about what you were doing. I, I and I'm used to speaking to entrepreneurs all day, every day. And as you know, the only thing, the only two things I do is number one, invest on behalf of Expert Dojo, and then number two is then work with those companies on their journey to become unicorns. And everybody we bring into Expert Dojo has got one objective, and that is we want to grow our company to be worth a minimum of a billion dollars. And then we're going to go to work. But what was incredible for me is I'm used to speaking with people who will say, I have this great idea. We have turned it into a possibly great product. Uh, we have brought it to the market. We've got a little bit of traction on the market. And we have proof that if we can grow at the same level, with the same metrics and the same everything else, we would be a phenomenal company. But you, as soon as I get on the phone to you, you said, yeah, we got like a couple of million people hit our site every single month. I'm like, what? How the heck have you managed to get a couple of million? So today, for all of you investors who are listening, you're looking for a great company and you're going you're gonna to find out what type of a great company this is through the execution that Sammy and his team have done. But just if you happen to be an entrepreneur and you're listening into this podcast and you're wondering, how do I build an incredible business where when I'm speaking with investors, it is a no brainer for them to put money in the company. Look, listen and learn because you're going to see it here. So Sammy, let's launch straight into it. How the heck did you build a company and get millions of people hitting your platform every single month without spending hardly any money on it. It's almost impossible. Okay, thank you for the great intro. I believe it's it's like it's simple, but it's hard to do a little bit. It's always like most of, of the entrepreneurs that I meet, like my colleagues, etc., they always focus on the product, not the value, which is totally wrong. What we believed in and what we started doing is what is the value we provided the user to be a super happy, to use it every day and tell everyone in his area, look, this is amazing platform. You should use it. This is like what we were thinking about. And we were thinking about what is the platform we are like, even as a founders, we will use it every day. We will feel it. Okay. This is, will give us a value, will give us the needs that we are searching for. So that was like the main basics that we do. So we start to understand what is the behavior when they are like browsing our platform. What is the type of information they are looking for? Do they need like a daily content? What type of um, information they will focus more? What is the information they are not looking for? It will be like wasting for time. How they will be like directly, not like go for especially like in our platform they have a lot of opportunities a lot of universities a lot of courses how they can go without feeling oh what is this it's a lot of information i don't understand anything and they go outside so, so let me stop you be, let, let me yeah. stop you for a moment right so really in two words you're saying you are really good at user experience you decided that you were going to make sure that folks who came to your platform, which we're going to explain in a second what that is and how it works, but folks who came to your platform got what they needed as quickly as possible, as efficiently as possible, and as simply as possible. So they could just get their stuff, deal with it, find it out, and then go. So, And that's the key, by the way, to all great platforms. And what's so beautiful about this is many people would say, yeah, we got millions of, of folks in our platform and millions of users through spending a lot of money on Facebook ads. But are you hardly spent anything, right? Yes, exactly. Like our budget for marketing is almost nothing. Okay, almost so listen nothing. to this. Budget's almost nothing. How many people did you have on your website last month? Uh, around 2.4 million. 2.4 million people. Are you kidding me? You'd like two point, like, I'm sorry, Tony Robbins, anybody else out there, you show me 
anybody who is getting cost of customer acquisition or even cost per click of 2.4 million people for hardly any money. And it's because you're focused on what people need and what they want right now, and you're focused on providing them with an incredible user experience is off the friggin' charts. And I can say to you, I speak to literally hundreds of entrepreneurs every single month, hundreds, right? And tens of thousands every single year. And I've never, ever come across an entrepreneur who's managed to build the amount of internet usage that you have based on such a small amount of spend. So now everybody listening to this is saying to me, Brian, tell us what they friggin' do already. So can you explain a little bit about the company, how the company works, and then we're going to go in afterwards, we're going to come back into the traction and the user experience because I think it's fascinating. But let's get to understand the company a little bit more first. Um, like since day one when we started Marja, we believe like that everyone, every use around the world, not just in MENA region, um, deserve an equal opportunity. A lot of amazing people, like they have go to a different direction just because they don't have the knowledge about the great opportunities that they can be enrolled with without like, they don't know, like they are eligible, they are amazing people, they have everything, but just, that, just they missing the knowledge of this opportunity are available. And what's happened this year in 2020, like, me, when I was like talking with my team, I, I, I always like to say it. It's a force transformation for education in the whole world. It's force a transformation to the electric, like distance e-learning um, opportunities. The universities will never back to the normal. Never. As, as we the, will never. Isn't that really interesting? You, you would never have convinced me 12 months ago, no matter, and, and th this is kind of a frustrating part of being right on the cutting edge of the innovation space, which I am, is that I see great innovations all day, every day, and then I know that lobby groups and behaviors and just really shitty systems stop those innovations from coming into place, right? And, and education was one of those innovations that's really frustrated me for years because I believed that universities and the way that they've been teaching hasn't changed in 40 or 50 years and it needed to change. But what happened was... COVID-19 came in and it changed everything. Suddenly, everybody was looking at this with a blank canvas and saying, okay, based on pure learning, let's forget about the drinking, let's forget about the fun, let's forget about campuses and making friends, just based on pure learning, how efficient are these different options that I have in educational services? And this is where a platform like yours has become so incredibly important because being able to tell this is really difficult. So having you come in and making that journey so much easier for, for students and wannabe students is a goldmine. Exactly, exactly. And like now, even for students, some students was like searching for, okay, I want something or university course, et cetera, near from my house, near from my area, near from my city. And now with online learning and distance learning, they can study everywhere. So the options is thousands of options. And that's a quite challenge for universities because like the location privilege is not existing anymore mm. having uh like legacy campuses or um nice space or like you said fun areas is not attractive anymore mm. i need the best learning experience which is something i can't like compare it easily so the ranking the way of learning the way that students searching and comparing between options is totally different and that's what like I believe a unique value that we are providing for both for universities to have the opportunity to recruit students from all over the world and especially MENA region and for students from MENA region to find opportunities they never dreamed about it or never heard about it before. And tell us a little bit about you. How did you come up with this with this idea and what was the what was the background that helped you suddenly say ah this is going to be the future of how folks find their educational solutions going forward. Okay, so like it's it's have different part. I will talk because we are three co-founders. I will talk mm -hmm. about my uh, part at first. So I'm from Syria, 
And since the travel, like I was working, like I was in the student union and a lot of activities in education field in my university. And also I was passionate a lot about programming. I started learning programming when I was young. And then I started university and then since the war, I needed to travel out. I traveled from a, an Arabic country to Arabic country to Egypt. And I find it super hard. And I was like asking a lot of people and no one gave me information because for like foreign people, it's totally different. So when mm -hmm. I ask Egyptian people about the information, they give me wrong information or they say, I don't know. So I, I missed the opportunity. I missed the opportunity to enroll. And I was like saying, oh, like I, I traveled out. It's very, um, I was like in panic. And also I missed my opportunity to continue my education. And suddenly, like, I heard by totally, like, accident that, that they have make an exception for three days, and I was able to enroll. But I remember how, like, I was panic, fear, and a lot of bad feeling uh, happening to me in that time. And after I enrolled, I started saying, okay, I want to I wanna help. I want to help people to, to continue. I don't want to make anyone feel the same bad feelings that I have before. So after one year of like doing some, like start adapting in Egypt and knowing more information about the market, I started a small initiative helping foreign people to study just in Egypt. And it start like, it's mainly for was for like Arab students going to, to Egypt and mm -hmm. it started growing and growing and growing. And then I said like after two years, okay, it's look like that education is a big opportunity, like a big challenge for everyone. And at the same time, like not all the students want to study in Egypt. They want to study abroad. They, they want to have diversity. So let's find an option for them. Let's find a way that makes this a, a solution for everyone in like youth in Arab region to find a better opportunities. And then like I start to think about the idea and looking for a co-founder can help me in the different opportunities. And here, like in the other type of the story, my two co-founders got uh, a scholarship to study for one semester in US. They met there, and when they back, this opportunity changed their mindset, changed their um, like behaviors, mm -hmm. and they was like believing in the same concept. We want to help others to have opportunity like this to improve them. Mm -hmm. And they made an initiative helping uh, youth in Egypt offline to know more imp uh, information is about scholarship and how, how to study abroad. So I was like, I have met Abdo in also my co-founder in different opportunity two years before the, the um, we founded Marja and was like, okay, he is sim like super productive, working in education, have good information about scholarship, etc. So he looked best one to be a micro founder so i so this I is let him, me let me let me stop you for a second because this is really interesting because what you're doing right now is called skill gapping and for investors who are listening into this there are a number of important things that are required when either i or you are looking to invest in companies number one we want to find a great idea whose time has come Number two, we want to find founders who are phenomenal at executing, right? So they take that idea and they turn it into a product and they get it to market. Number three, if possible, and, and definitely in the case of Sammy here, like we want to be able to see traction so we can understand how does that move forward? Like how do we then take that traction and multiply it by 10 or 20 or 50 by 100 to turn this into a unicorn? But the part that Sammy's talking about right now, which is vital is called skill gapping. And skill gapping is making sure that all of the founders, it, it would be very easy and greedy for Sammy to say, oh, I'll just do this myself. I'll launch the platform. I'll put it up. I don't have the skills in this area other than knowing that it's a problem, but I'll just put it up and we'll see how it goes. But he didn't. Much smarter. He looked for the people to fill the skill gaps that he knew would be required to build this into a major company. Hence, reducing the risk that the company isn't going to make it. And from my perspective, even more importantly, increasing the speed that you can get to that final destination. at. So please continue. But I want to make sure everybody's really aware of the relevance of why this is so important. Exactly. So um, I have talked with Abdo, told him I have an idea um, for building this platform who will help students from all MENA region. And he told me, 
me and my um, co-founder in the initiative for the scholarship, Ahmed, who is our third co-founder, was searching also what's next. We like we are doing event and awareness in Egypt, but like what's next? What we mm-hmm. want to do? So we met three of us. We start talking about everything: the name, what we will do, what is uh, the skills of everyone, what ev- every person in this team can add value for the company, how we can exclude, make a timeline. And we start to work on it. Um, and there are something we have made before we started. Like all we like, we was working a little bit. But what we have made, and I think it's a little bit important, or like it's important from my aspect. We was also knowing each other. Like knowing, are we are we will be able to work together? Because there are amazing people everywhere. But sometimes, like they do, they are not able to work together. So we you have... You need trust. You need trust in a team. You know, the, the largest reason for um, startups uh, failure and later on in the rounds is breakdown of the team. So actually not just finding those skill gaps, but building that trust level within the team where everybody knows where they're very good at, but more importantly, having everybody aligned with where the future is going to be is absolutely vital. So another great point. Exactly. So we have like worked together in different stuff. We have traveled together. We have do a lot of activities and then, okay, we sounds good. We're together. All, everything is good. Now let's start. And then we started the company. We started just the first part, which is the scholarship part, because we felt in that time we have the knowledge and at the same time, it's need less resources and ability to increase our numbers for like listing scholarship, etc., is uh, much higher because it's it's um, it's sexy materials for for use. Everyone mm-hmm. searching for funded opportunities. So that's why we choose to start with this uh, part, and then we scale to everyone. Because if from day one I told you or tell anyone, okay, we have this platform, have everything about everything in MENA region people will get confused. We will not able to target anyone. We will not able to, like, to actually do A-B testing or know what's happening, what is the best part. We will not able to secure funds to, mm-hmm. to spend money on all the different stuff. So for us, it's better to do it step by step. It's fast, but not like going to uh, jump from a mountain. Need mm-hmm. to, to, to uh, explore everything. And when you think, okay, it's good, I understand everything, now go like rocket to, to scale. But not like from day one without any clear vision, go trying to scale, it's, it will be a completely failed Man, from you my... You just view. become a rocket that ends up in a different place on Earth. You don't go out of the orbit. So I, another great point. So you, you, you've you got your three co-founders, you get your idea, you start to build, you raise a little bit of money, you then go to market. Were you surprised when you had so many users on your platform so quickly? Because I, I keep coming back to this point. It is extremely unusual to have that amount of people. And even when you said it to me, I didn't believe you. Like I literally went to Alexa as we spoke. And I said, There's no way this guy's telling the truth. Not because you would lie to me, but because it's impossible. Impossible. And I looked and there you are ranked as 44th or 34,000th company in the world. And for anybody who, who doesn't understand how Alexa works, like that's pretty hardcore. To reach that type of level is almost impossible. So talk to us about, about when you realized that you had a tiger by the tail. Okay, so like I remember when, when we was like working, um, my like to be honest, my uh, targeted number wasn't super high. Like we started in like, having uh, 10,000 10, users per month. Mm-hmm. And it was like, wow, it's a lot of users. <laughs> it <And> is. <laughs> yes. So we was like super happy when we have this. And then we start like doing a lot of strategy. We want to grow. We want to increase our numbers. And also what help us because me and the other co-founders, we are a little bit uh, like our role models for a lot. We have some followers. So we used our personal uh, branding to start bringing some users before like the company started. So we was like trying to accelerate and I was like, we, we jumped from like 10,000 to 20, 30, 90. Wow. And like, 
And from, did you do something before we go past that? Yeah. Other than using your own influence level, um, did you do anything in sp- specifically to jump? Because number one, to get to ten thousand is extremely hard. I actually know people that look at their website every day, and they'll see one day there's. 62 people and then the next day there's 67 people and then the next day there's like 37 people and they're like oh no i just worked all so to get to 10,000 is unbelievably hard but you must have done something to go from 10,000 to 15 to 20 to 40 to 70 to 100 yeah um yeah like we was like growing like hell and uh, there was many reasons the first one we have built something it's very unique which what we called uh, Marja Fellowship. So, like, to be a pure honest, when we started, we said we need a daily updated content, and we are just three people. So, if our maximum amount of opportunities that we can list in our platform is around like ninety opportunities in a month, and it it's need a hell work. So, we were saying we don't have money, and we need a lot of opportunities, and we need we need a lot of marketing. What we can do? So. We said what we have, we have a great knowledge about education field and how to apply for scholarships, how to study abroad. This is what we have. Um, And what we need is we need people to work with us, but without money. So we have built an internship program and we told we we called it Marja Fellowship and we made Mm -hmm. a call of application. We, you will work with us. You will learn from us. We will help you to increase your skills, to, to learn a lot about uh, a lot of stuff, education, entrepreneurship, a lot of skills. Mm-hmm. You will be in a great environment for some, like from three to six months because it's a change mm-hmm. by the time. In return, you will help us to by providing a translation, by, by searching, by, by doing a lot of like a work with us. And we have like a target for each one. So it's a, we have built a system to rank everyone and know who is working or not. And if you ch- like succeed to do all the process, you will officially graduate and will be one of our alumni. Wow. And we started the first cycle. It was like around 20 people. And we start to learn from it. And then we have developed cycle and after cycle. And in the third cycle, we was able to ha- receive more than 1,000 applications to work with us. And from 1,000, we have select around 100 people. There was like the top talented youth in MENA region. They, all of them are amazing people, have the energy and willing to work with us. They are passionate about the field working with us. So with the fellowship program, we was able to make our platform in daily updated content. Sometimes even each hour, you go to our platform and you will find something new. So wow. it's a great added value. In the second way, our alumni was rocket. Like they got in, uh, a scholarship. They uh, hire, got in hiring in the best uh, companies in the platform. They are talking about their experience in Marja. So hundreds of people around all the MENA region talking about the super great experience in they they are having in Marja and promoting with us and those people like ambassadors increasing each like because we have different rounds each uh, four months as we open new uh, call of publication so top talented people in youth talking about us we have mm-hmm. daily updated content we focus on the value we focus on user experience and also we are talking with uh, providing. Uh, like best opportunity is send it to the best match people. So we was doing it pure manual. We have opportunities for engineering. We do a partnership with people having engineers and sending to them this information. We have uh, opportunities for girls. We see what, who is working with girls and send them this information. And we say like, um, share it. What, what's really interesting. Let me, let me hold you there for a second. So there's a couple of things. Number one, any great company is like a swan. On the top of the water, it looks graceful and beautiful and it's floating across the water. But underneath the water, those little feet are kicking like crazy, right? So underneath it, you are kicking like crazy. It wasn't luck or a fluke. You have to start with a great idea. You then have to make sure that that company is really fit for purpose in your user experience. So your very first point at the start of this podcast is absolutely sensational. And then after that, you have to make sure that you work like crazy. But I really like a point 
that you're making throughout all of this, which is that you're engaging people. This is all about making sure that folks are absolutely engaged with you. And you did that right from the very beginning. So absolutely fantastic work. Fantastic work. So tell Thank me you. more. You, what came next? What about when you went from 100,000 to a million users? Yeah, like I remember when we was 90,000, I was saying our next target, I was talking with one of our mentors. He is a great mentor mm -hmm. and he is still working with us until now. So I was telling him, okay, we was able to grow like 3x, 4x in the past months. But now we are 90. So to be like more like... Uh, real in real let's talk next month i will do it 2x not more than this because it's like 3x from 90 to like um more than 200 it's it's hell crazy mm -hmm. and he say no we you was working around 3x per month keep it this in your mind but i said like it's super hard i say okay it's okay go for this target work with, with it and if it's not work, it's not a problem. It's 2x. No no one will say you have made bad work. But keep your uh, aim higher. And I said yes. And I worked super hard to do it. And I was able to, to achieve it. So this is one of, of great lessons that I have learned. Sometimes we do limit ourselves. Because mm, we say, I, love I will it. not able to do it. I will not able to do it. And if if... If he didn't tell me, no, go for higher, I will not do it. I will say, okay, this is my limit. I will stay in like 200, I don't know, or maybe less. So when he was telling me, you'll be able to keep this. And I said, why? Like why I was, I'm doing uh, protection. Like I will not be do it. Let me do my best, me and my team and see what will happen. Beautiful. And then we like start like growing more and more and more you're so right same. you're so yeah. right we, we are so limited by what we believe is possible by as we bring it out and we're so limited by our own fear and and what you did was you just went to battle with the three of you swinging swords and shooting guns and saying we're here and we're going for it and there's only three of us and we may be against a couple of hundred thousand people but who cares we're going out but because you had it so well executed up front it puts you into an amazing place so here's what i want to get to so everybody listening now and hopefully everybody's taking great notes about how you start and build and grow a company that scales beautifully and what i love about sammy and what he's done is that it's so poetically beautiful to find a company that grows specifically because users love that company, not because they have billions of dollars of venture capital money, not because that it was artificially pushed into a place or because there's lobby groups, but purely become the, because the users love the platform. So now you're in a place, you've got 2.4 million people hitting your website every single month. You got some money from us. I have no question that we're going to raise a bunch more money from more investors that are going to come in. I mean, I know what my objectives would be if we're sitting here and we're working together and I'm mentoring you and we become your partners and advisors to get you to the next level. But what about you? What's possible? Where can we take this to? Okay. So what, what I'm aiming for, what we believe is like we have in the past um, years or maybe more, developing our platform, we have built a unique algorithm to make each opportunity, each data enter our platform as a predefined data. A predefined data for like non-tech people, it's a data can machine read. So if you wanna, like it's like teaching a kid, if you need a special language to, to teach this. So if you wanna, a train and a machine to understand what's happening in your platform. Mm -hmm. You need a special data. It will make it more easy to train. So this is a step one. And then what we are working now is to learn from this data, take a lot of analytics information, and we are like starting to do a lot of reports about the behavior persona of, of the users. And we do and like in each period trying to our max to understand the behavior and do a data-driven uh, growing marketing uh, enhancement for our platform. Mm -hmm. But what we are going to is step-by-step step is building an AI assistant, helping you from day one when you are like searching for a career development 
in in your university in your school in like after graduation to take a course to build so if let's say from day one i want to study uh business for example in harford university or something mm-hmm. like that it will this ai will give me a custom experience tell me okay to go for this you need to uh improve yourself in one two three and according to our database for one you need to start you can start learning english from this course or mm-hmm. this course you can improve do the testing here or or there you mm-hmm. can apply for uh, your bachelor like a if you are targeting a master, your bachelor will increase your chance to apply to Harvard if you go to one, two, three. Wow. So in each step, it will help you to go to this journey. And it will be a pure customized experience for each individual. This is what we are dreaming about. This is Amazing. what we're Amazing. trying to build. Amazing. So you, you move from being an information provider to being a mentor on how on, on somebody's journey as they're looking for the best educational solution for themselves. Exactly. And you also, and, from an investment perspective, you also build the strong defensive moat around you because for people to be able to see what you're doing and say, oh, we should provide information. Well, that's relatively easy. Not to execute, but at least to copy. But what's very difficult to copy is when you build your own proprietary information in there, which is based on what you've learned from the user behaviors over years. That's something nobody can copy because that's something that you own because you've built it inside. So it's very exciting. Exactly. And like it's it's this AI can help the users in a lot of stuff. Like even when when they want searching, like if I am wanna study in UK, so I need accommodation, it will help me to book accommodation using one of our partners. If I wanna book my flight ticket, it will help me to book it. It's and like it's a great um, revenue sources, it's a great value giving to users. It's a great value for the other part, which is the companies provide all this information. So it will put uh, like I believe it's totally different culture. It's if we, I, I believe we will be able to do it in this way. And the people will say how we will, was able to believe before this opportunity. This mm-hmm. is what we believe all together, what we will build. Okay, beautiful. And then, so what are we talking about user-wise? So as you grow up, and how much how much investment do you need to get there? So let us know what you're raising right now, and then what that's going to do for you. And then let's move to what are we going to raise in the future, and where is that going to get us? And that way, all of the investors listening to the call here can realize what your scale and your growth going forward looks like. Okay, so like for the time being, we was like raising um, a seed investment for... Uh, building, in, expanding our team, uh, some technical improvement for mm-hmm. our platform, acquiring a hell number of universities, um, changing our business model, which we, we, we talked about a lot to improve our business model to a new level, which uh, make us able to scale much faster. Mm-hmm. So we will bring more information to our platform, especially for our new department. So in a scholarship department, we have a huge amount of information already in courses and universities it's quite a new department so we we are we will work in the same fast track to increase uh, acquire thousand minimum thousand of universities during um, the next year Amazing. and the same for courses and when we build all this together and at the same time we are building uh, we have already executed for a couple of schools. So we're also doing a system integrating with the learning management system in the schools. Mm-hmm. So instead of the normal um, advisor for the school, they can use our platform as a virtual advisor to help you to go from high school to university, to Incredible. choose your university. Incredible. So this is our KPIs for the time being for this race. Uh, increase the number of schools, increase the number of universities, increase the number of data, make it more, bring more analytics, and this is will make a solid ground, and then go for a series A, which which will need a millions to to be able to bring an AI experts, a, a professional tech team to to exclude what we are talking about, uh, data scientists to to make this data better way. I to love it. Learn I love understand. it. You're getting me going and, now. Go on. Yeah, and and 
uh, like m- have more uh, like like it's one hundred percent. Our revenue will increase much more, uh, which is, will be more sexy for the investors and increase our number of team. But logically, not like just like hiring for hiring or being a but, big company. But there actually are the right to, to, to that point. I mean, there are great efficiencies of hiring. Like the, one of the challenges, one of the reasons I love the MENA reason to invest in myself is that you get highly, very highly qualified people and very highly skilled people. And you don't have to pay 200000 or three hundred or $400,000 a year, which you would need to pay in San Francisco. You can get people to come in both on equity on the team on very reasonable salaries. So you can build a unicorn at a level which would not be possible over in the U.S. Um, and I want every investor to imagine, especially people who have prolifically invested into other companies, imagine what you could do with 2.4 million eyeballs on the website, on, on a website of a company which is one of your companies and the potential work can go to. And what I love about what Sammy's saying is, look, with 2.4 million people, we don't need to jump to 10 million people straight away. What we need to make sure is those 2.4 million people have the most incredible possible relationship with the platform and that we we drive the revenue in a really strong way. So we make this not a unicorn, which is something that has to lose money forever. We make it better than that. We make it a zebra, but a fast zebra, a company that makes money, that brings in profitability, that has additional users all the time. And when we get to our Series A, we're going to be sitting with a couple of hundred thousand dollars a month coming in from revenue, multiple revenue streams, somewhere between two and four million people who are touching the platform every single month. And the entire objective will be how do we move from 2.4 million people on the platform to 100 million people that are touching the platform every single month. That, my friend, is when the game will be over. That's when we win. So I could not be happier to be part of the journey. Um, The round is open now. It'll probably stay open until the end of the year unless something happens before then. And then after that next year, you will not have a chance to come back in and invest in this company. It will be pure heads down, building, getting product ready, driving revenue and preparing for our Series A, which, Sammy, if I'm not wrong, will be quarter one, 2021. Exactly. Right. And then we hit it and then we'll raise three to seven million dollars and the window will be closed. We will raise that money from a venture capitalist in the region and we push forward from there. So I want you just to finish up now with just some last words to investors. Please share your email address and how they can contact you or any other guys in the team. Also website so that they can actually jump on the website as well. But share just your parting words with investors as to why this is such an incredible opportunity for them. Okay, Uh, like I said, it's an opportunity to a totally complete culture change for youth, not just in MENA region, in the whole world. It's a building a platform can change. Like it's what what I love about our company and what make me work happy hundreds of hours is because we just like not building a platform who can bring a lot, billions or be a unicorn or, or make a huge revenue. It's also helping to change other lives, giving mm-hmm. a better opportunity, going to a brighter future that everyone have an equal opportunity to, to improve themselves and go to a different way. So it's not just like investment in a company will go like a rocket, which is 100% I'm sure about it, it's also investing in a better future. It's a great value to everyone in the world. This is like what I would say to our uh, uh, future investors and everyone listening. And we, they can contact our platform. It's marj3.com slash en if you want to go to the English version. And you can email me at sami, S-A-M-I, at marj3.com. And um, I will be happy to contact with you and talk more about our plans and our, what we are doing now. And like, uh, just like talking about last point that we was talking about, about hiring. We was hiring, uh, we, we opened that call of location. We didn't even publish it in our platform. Like we have made, uh, make it in very private uh, page in our platform. And we just share it in our uh, personal uh, pages. We will need um, a person to work with us, and this is the criteria. 
And in just like two days from our pages, we received more than 300 applicants, a great applicant to work with us. And we have closed it directly because like in, in two days, we have three, more than 300 applicants and the number is increasing super fast. Amazing. We will not be able to, to interview all these people. And from these people, we have interviewed uh, like around 20 people. They was super awesome, super talented people. And in salary, consider nothing comparing with salary outside. So I believe there are like a huge, amazing, talented people will join our team to build a great future. So that's I love it. that. I love that. I love that. I'm inspired. I'm ready. Look, before we even started this podcast, I was so pleased that we invested into you. Um, I believe that you're going to build a phenomenal company that's going to be worth billions of dollars. I believe that you're going to change a hell of a lot of lives in a really positive way. And I couldn't be happier to be on the journey with you. Sammy, let's build some great things. Thanks for being a part of our Expert Dojo journey. Thanks for letting us invest in your company. And investors out there, take note of everything you've heard today. This is a company to watch for the future. Thank you so much. And that's a wrap. <laughs>